We are connected when it comes to weather, and we love to see that connection here at the Weather Network. So let's talk about Te Wantapaser winds. I'll bring in our resident expert. This is Dennis Mercero, who is one of our TWN digital writers. Dennis, what is this phenomenon? Te Wantapaser winds occur when cold air blows up against the mountains in southern Mexico, and there's a tiny gap in the mountains that allows the winds to blow into the Pacific at a tremendous rate of speed. Cold Mexico, oh my goodness. Okay, so how does this compare with lace wet winds or the wreck house winds on this side of the border? They're all regional winds, and this is most similar to the Arctic outflow winds we would see in British Columbia around the Fraser Valley. Can they be dangerous? And what does Canada have to do with these winds? Big powerful cold fronts in the fall and winter months can spread cold air all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. And that cold air drains up against the mountains in Mexico and it can't go up and over because it's too dense. So it finds these little mountain gaps and presses through really fast. We often see winds um, exceeding 100 kilometers per hour at times. And we've even seen gusts of more than 200 kilometers per hour, which can create 10 meter waves and be very dangerous for any vessels in the region. So what is their predictability? Can they see these things coming? Back in the old days, they couldn't, but now we can see them coming more than a week in advance, which is great for any ships. And that is how we are all connected when it comes to weather. Dennis, I really appreciate your expertise on this. Talk Thank you so much.